Hey folks, and we are back with uh, the last of the Wave 2 uh, Legends for Titans Return. Um, and this is the guy that they are calling Rumble. Even though I think we all know that it's not Rumble. Oh no. Oh no, I think we're about ready to head into the whole red-blue debate. <sighs> Stick around and we'll discuss everything with this guy in the latest Got By True Review. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot, and this is the Transformers Titans Return Legends Rumble figure. Um, he is, you know, what can I say, he's part of Wave 2. Um, I don't think he's Rumble. If you are somebody who falls on the side of, you know, Rumble is red and Frenzy is blue, then he's going to be great for you. If you fall on the side of the uh, G1 animation where Rumble is blue and Frenzy is red, this isn't Rumble. That's where I fall. So I'm going to say it now, for paint apps, for a Rumble figure, he's a zero. He's an epic, epic fail for Rumble. For Frenzy, he's about a nine. The red and the black should be reversed on his arms with the upper arm being red and the lower arm being black. But... You know what? I can still dig it and it's still pretty good. If we compare him to his FOC counterparts, there is FOC Rumble. And you'll notice he's blue. But here is FOC Frenzy. Who do you think he matches better? Just saying. Uh, again, he's significantly bigger, significantly more detailed, infinitely better than the FOC versions. Um, just for interest's sake, you know, here he is with FOC Soundwave, who is my Soundwave. I think that's a good size for Soundwave. Good size for his minion, even though this guy cannot work with this guy. I'm not going to be able to go in his chest. This guy's designed to go with the leader class Soundwave figure. Um, I'm not really in for that. I think he's too big, but I, I kind of dig him as a minion. This is a retool of Rewind from Wave 1. I was shocked to get this guy. Uh, I actually got him because of my dad. Uh, and I, I appreciate my family being supportive of what I do. I, I really do. Um, so, paint apps, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to grade him as frenzy, really. So I'm gonna give them a nine. I'm gonna give him a nine. Hopefully he's gonna go repaint it in the blue to give us a, a, you know, a good rumble representation, even though I'm sure that one will be called frenzy. That debate could boggle you for days. His articulation, well the shoulders can go all the way around and they can go up and there's a bicep swivel and a nice 90 degree elbow bend. Um, the head can go left and right really nicely. It looks up and it looks down uh, very nicely. The legs can split apart a lot. Splits all the way. Uh, the knee bends up nice and deep. The toes even tilt a little bit. Some people have complained that he doesn't stand well because he doesn't have heels. But, I don't, well, he's not, he's not working well there now. But I think that's my surface. Uh, honestly, I find he stands pretty good. Uh, so his post-ability playability, he does not have a waist, unfortunately. No thigh swivel, but he has a little bit at the ball joint, and it kind of, you know, it kind of lets you fake it a bit. Uh, I'm going to give his posability, playability, especially comparing him to the last versions that we got of him, about an eight and a half. He's quite good. Quite good. Uh, he has a, a gun that he comes with that can go on his arm on the side. There is a, an opening right here. Or, of course, you could put it in his hand. Um... So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, what I do find weird is that one arm is solid and the other is hollowed out. I don't know why that is. Uh, I've seen that with uh, Rewind too, and I just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why that is. Uh, so yeah, this guy's scoring pretty good. Uh, for Rumble, he's not. Before Frenzy, he's scoring great. Uh, a good eight and a half. 
probably the strongest figure from this wave. Let's go into transformation. We'll go to, uh, what will we do first? Maybe tablet mode first. Oh, by the way, also, if you straighten out his arms, and I've seen this, and I think it's kind of cool. If you straighten out his arms, and you turn them to the side like this, some people have, some people have said that this is a nice fake out. I can get him to stand now. Some people, work with me, there you go. Some people have said that's a nice fake out for his pile drivers. I agree, it's, it's kind of cool. Uh, it's, it's certainly not them, but to have a feature sort of incorporated that's unintentional, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, but for now we're gonna fold these back up and the joints here are, I, I almost feel like I'm gonna break them. They're, they're, kinda, they're kinda tight, which is, good because there's no tab here to actually tab this into here so you want good friction to hold it in place uh, and they do hold in place well uh, so we're gonna we're gonna transform this guy first you open his chest and you flip his head in and you close his chest up and I love the detailing on his chest it's fantastic next you kind of put his arms out and you turn his legs so that they face each other and you flip in uh, Ooh, I didn't anticipate that happening. That was a, wow. I just popped the ball joint. Uh, no, I popped a, a little hinge. That has not happened, but you flip those down. Just like that. And then the legs at the knees, uh, they just bend up and come all the way in. And this one bends up and comes all the way in. Now you can see you have the main body of the tablet and this is also the way that he is for his tank mode because you can see the tank treads down right here. So I think that's kind of good because it makes transforming him so much easier. Uh, we will, I guess, do the tablet first. Uh, you open out that arm section and you open out that arm section. Uh, you turn it and you turn it and when you turn it you're trying to get the little pin to face down bottom you bring the shoulders together up top and you put the arms down to the side and tab them in and it all tabs in nicely and here you go with a nice little tablet and some people have said hey what about the little gun thing I think this weapon storage is pretty ingenious you put it on the side it's great and there he is in his tablet form he can become a third mode, and that is a tank. You can untab his arms, leave his legs and everything tabbed together. We'll take out his gun piece, and now you fold the arms up again as if you were putting him back in robot mode. And fold the arm up as if you were putting him back in robot mode. And you twist the shoulders. You twist the shoulders up and just squeeze them together and then you're going to bring it down. There's a little tab right here that goes into a little hole on the side. There's a little tab right here that goes into a little hole on the side. And uh, they tab in pretty good actually. Just got to get it and doing it here, you know, arm's, arm's length, that's the only slight challenge. There, there. You put those in on the side, and then in this section right here, you take your little gun, and there's a little groove in the gun that just should just slide in over both of those pieces. There you go, nice like that. And it holds it together and this can angle up and down and he rolls quite well. Uh, honestly, honestly, I, I, I dig him, uh, I do. Uh, I, I can't wait to get the, the blue version which I assume 
is going to hopefully be two tones of blue, probably uh, a light blue where the red is, probably a dark blue where the black is on this guy, and probably silver where the goldy color is on this guy. Um, so transformation is actually pretty good. Uh, I'm going to give his transformation. Mm, I'm going to give his transformation. Let's say a. Let's say eight and a half. Let's. You know what? Yeah. Let's say eight and a half. No. You know what? Let's say a nine. I think it's really good. I think it's fun. Uh, I think he's the standout star of this wave, to be honest with you. Here he is back in robot mode just as quickly as that. Uh, I will set him up there. We will bring in Ravage just for a comparison and we're going to bring in Buzzsaw for a comparison and Laserbeak over here. And because he's the version I use, here's my FOC uh, sound wave. I, they look good with him even though they can't work with him. Because they, you know, they're not made for his gimmick. He's a different gimmick, different time. Anyway, that kind of clues it up for Rumble, or who I'm going to call Frenzy, even if it is officially Rumble. As a Rumble character, I'm not digging it because I, I guess I'm hardcore for the animation. If you do, great. Either way, I think we can all agree that we want the black and the red guy and we want the blue guy. We want both of them and inevitably, hopefully, that has to happen. Um, what can I say? Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Check me out everywhere and check out my work. I appreciate you giving me some of your valuable time as always. And I look forward to the next time that you and I get together for another visit right here inside the videos. Oops, true to form with me being terrible at showing packaging and cards and stuff. Here is the package. Um, and it basically says he can cause earthquakes. No big shock there. Here is the collector card. And I love the artwork on it. I think it looks really great for Frenzy. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's nice artwork. And on the back, I was shocked that his strength is as low as, uh, I believe it's a two. And his speed is as low as a two. I would have figured at least the speed would be higher. But look how strong that fire blast is. The guy is great with a blaster. Uh, and intelligence, uh, yeah, that's about what I would expect. Anyway, that's it. Uh, you know, sorry for not showing this earlier. And uh, again, what can I say? Thanks for dropping by. And now I will, uh, you know, bid you goodbye and say thanks. And I look forward to the next time that we get together for another visit right here inside the videos.